Hey guys, so uh, today's October 1st. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but uh, October 1st, 1968 was the uh, theatrical, premiere, theatrical excuse me, premiere of uh, Night of the Living Dead, George Romero's movie. And, uh, you know, he, we lost him a couple, I believe it was, what, two, three years ago now? Maybe two, three years ago now? Um, I had a chance to meet Mr. Romero... Uh, at ZombieCon back in 2010, the nicest guy you could ever meet. Um, this was really cool celebrity to, to kind of talk to. And, you know, because he's the godfather of the zombie genre, I mean, you have a million questions. Um, I actually got a portrait of him tattooed on my right foot, and I got to show it to him, and he thought it was really cool. And that's always kind of stuck with me, He's just, you know, how nice he was. Um few years, actually maybe it was only about a year later, I met Judith O'Day, uh, who played Barbara uh, in the uh, original uh, Night of the Living Dead. Um, she was also, also awesome, awesome, awesome to meet. Um, really down to earth, loved talking about Night of the Living Dead. Um, really cool. Um, I did, uh, was able to pick up her autograph. Um, funny, she's the only person, celebrity, I've met who I've got a uh, autograph from, uh, who I've met in person, who didn't, uh, I didn't get a uh, inscription or my name. Typically, when I meet uh, people, I, I always have them put my name. Keeps me from selling them. <laughs> uh, but uh, Judith, uh, she just signed Judith O'Day, Barbara. It's a great photo. I love it. Uh, it sits up in my George Romero uh, collection. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a great movie. Um, I don't know. You know how old everyone out there is, but uh, if you're old enough to remember the MySpace days, uh, I was a, um, uh, there was a page called the Horror Drunks, and what it was about was you'd get together with a couple of your friends, and you know, everyone drinks 40 ounces and watches horror movies. They had different chapters in all different cities, and uh, one of the cool things people did is they would go to different um, filming locations uh, where, you know, psycho the house psycho was filmed at or whatever whatever it was well um for those of you who don't i live on the west coast now but for those of you who don't know i'm actually from the east coast um but i bounced back and forth between maryland and new jersey a lot between my mom and dad anyway uh i believe it's evan city uh cemetery is where the original uh or the opening sequence is which was actually filmed last if you didn't know anyway uh, the opening sequence uh is filmed in a cemetery i believe it's evan city um, uh, and so one of the things we did is we all went out there, uh, with some low and brow 40 ounces for you East coasters, you know what low and brow is. And, uh, we actually scooped up some of the dirt in the cemetery cap full, threw it in our beer, but we didn't shake it up, but you know, you do the little, get it all mixed in there anyway. And we drank some of that and it was a uh, pretty funny, uh, experience, uh, definitely at the time. And being as much as I am a horror now, it's definitely something I kind of take pride in and laugh about and tell my friends about for sure. Um, but uh, given the chance, if you get to meet Judith O'Day, she's definitely worth it. And uh, I guess uh, happy Night of the Living Dead to everyone.